The Movie Songbook, dat is de titel van het nieuwe album van Charlene Spiteri, dat op dit moment in de winkelrekken ligt. Het is al haar tweede soloplaat in twee jaar tijd, al blijft Spiteri dan toch vooral bekend als zangeres van de Schotse succesgroep Texas. Met The Movie Songbook bewandelt ze nieuwe wegen, want op die plaat staan een race bekende filmsongs van Pretty Woman tot en met The Sound of Silence. Om verschillende redenen liggen die haar allemaal na aan het hart. The, the whole sort of point of doing the record, well, my number one was that I really wanted to do it because I had sung a, If I Can't Have You at the 25th anniversary of Saturday Night Fever. And then I did um, at the, the duet with Mauro um, the, for The Godfather, 30th anniversary. So I'd done these two tracks and I was like, oh, I'd really like to, you know, this was fun, I wanted to do some more with this. If I can't have you, I don't want nobody, baby. If I can't have you, no, no, no. That was where the fear came from because suddenly it wasn't, well, I'm not the first person to have done this and it's not as if I'm just doing a kind of, it's not as if I'm doing some underground song that nobody knows. I'm doing these big iconic tunes that are, Parts of people's lives and, and, and youth. No, no, no. If I can't have you. To be honest, the band that, that I played with um, and that, that I did the record with was so amazing that the moment we literally, the first note hit, it, it was that was the moment where I went, okay, it's going to be okay. A place where nobody dared to go. We had. You know, Frank Sinatra's drummer, we had the, the guys that played on Michael Jackson record with Quincy Jones' horn section. We, we just had everybody on and it was just really a lot of fun to do. I've got to say I was kind of like a kid in a toy shop. A million lights out there singing like one should stop. If you look at it technically, you go, okay, Xanadu, not a great movie, but I love the movie. You know, but the, the, the soundtrack that was done by ELO and by Jeff Lennon is, is just amazing. Yeah, I love ELO. I mean, I I really enjoyed. I mean, I was when I was growing up and I saw Zandu for the first time. It was a moment for me, and just the music and everything that was in it was sort of, you know, it was it was part of my youth. So it has great memories for me. Pretty woman walking down the street. Pretty woman. The kind For me, it was is, is that moment about a woman singing about another woman. It was like, yeah, I thought, okay, this will have you know the tongues wagging. Because I would say that on on the original, this, there's not a sarcasm there, whereas there's a lot of sarcasm in this version. Even though I knew the song back to front, I didn't realise that I didn't know the song so well until I actually sang it. Even though, you know, Simon and Garfunkel did the whole big folk thing, um, I think maybe more the, the real sort of Scottish folk really sort of came out in this version. I don't know, it was almost like I could hear the pipes when I was singing that song at points. It was like, you know, it was like monumental. Prince for me is, is one of the all-time greatest songwriters ever. He is just in a complete league of his own. The harmonies and the way he was blending things, I mean, nobody can replicate that. It's just genius. But his melodies are so clever. If you look at the track list and you go, those songs should never be together. But for some reason, when you listen to the record, it all works together. Writing songs Some of these songs were done, you know, in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. You mean you've got everything in there, um, and it does. It, it all sits together. But the one thread that hangs through it is is the passion and the love for great songs, and that and that is what is on this record. Mm -hmm. 